Hey, what's up everybody? It's Justin Yanagita from yanagitafitness.com, fitness trainer, and I just wanted to quickly do a video topic on Nutrition 101. Mind me, this is my uh, first video, so um, please leave some feedback at the end of this video uh, if I, you know, whatever I should work on or speaking or whatever it is, just let me know. Um, and I hope this can help some of you guys out there that are looking to lose some weight, um, just or even just to learn about some nutrition basics. Uh, so here we go. So we got three websites here that I list that are really good reference uh, websites: MyFitnessPal, FreeDieting.com, and even IIFYM.com. Um, they'll ask you a series of questions from your height, your age, your weight, uh, activity level. So activity level will be if you work a uh, waiter, waitress job, um, that'll be considered maybe an active job compared to if you're an office desk worker, you'll be more of a sedentary or lightly active depending on how much you, uh, if you walk to your work or whatever, it'll, it'll um, give you a good guideline in terms of what to set your activity level at. So once you figure out your maintenance calories, from those webs any of those websites. Uh, this is just an example of a guy, maybe about um, 180, 190 pounds person in their late to mid 30s. Um, so let's just say 2,500 calories is to maintain their weight. And what we wanna go for is a calorie deficit of about 500 calories. And um, you might be wondering why 500 calories? 500 calories over the course of seven days will burn 3,500 calories, which is one pound of fat. And to make weight loss not too stressful, I always recommend a balance of 80 20. So 80% of your foods coming from the typical vegetables, fruits, meats, nuts, and seeds, and just the typical healthy foods that everybody recommends. And that'll make sure you get all your vitamins and minerals to supply your body because um, nobody wants to be deficient in anything. And the rest of the 20% of foods can come from your fun foods. Uh, so it can be pizza, it can be cake, cookies. But the number one thing is to not go overboard. A lot of people will take that into advantage and they'll do like a 60%, 40% and that's not healthy. Um, over the, over the course of long term, of course. So let's just say for this guy, we're eating 2,000 calories to lose weight. So 1,600 calories should come from fairly healthy foods, um, like what I just said earlier. And the 400 calories can come from a slice of cake, a slice of pizza, a couple of cookies, um, that sort of stuff, and it will not affect your health. Um, and that's the main thing. We don't want you to end up binging over the weekend by being 100% strict over the weekday. And that, that's, that's a really bad way to diet. Um, and now, just a quick touch on macronutrients, your protein, carbs, and fats. I'm just gonna go with a really uh, brief, easy route. Some 20 to 35% of your calories from protein. Um, that'll ensure adequate amino acids to maintain your muscle mass and possibly build if you are a complete newbie to weight training or strength training. And uh, if you know your lean body mass, which is better, um, but then you know you don't need to know it, but uh, I would recommend one gram per pound of lean body mass. Um, that'll really optimize your, you know, your strength performance and all that if that matters to you. And this isn't taking into consideration the people who are trying to get uh, really lean, like bodybuilders or uh, really physique athletes, which we may, may need a little bit more protein than that. But for the majority of the population, this is perfect. Um, fats now are really important because we want to stay fairly healthy and optimize your uh, hormones. Uh, all fats are okay. Oh, with the exception of trans fats. We do not want to eat trans fats. Um, a little bit of saturated fats are okay. Um, you know, try to get your fats from avocados, olive oils, coconuts, 
and just fairly healthy sources and you can get a little bit of your fats from um, the saturated fats as long as you remember it stays within that 20% range so you don't go overboard and the rest of your calories should come from carbohydrates so a really easy way to do your macronutrients are let's just say you do 25% protein 25% fats and 50% of carbohydrates which we all love to eat so that way you can consume your rice, potatoes, your fruits uh, in pretty good quantities. And why I recommend so much carbs is it's much easier to comply with your diet when you are able to include foods that you personally enjoy to you know consume on the daily basis. Um, a lot of people will try to crash diet or cut out a certain food group only to binge on the weekend which is counterproductive and I'll talk about all the uh, negative aspects of uh, binging and how daily calories don't really matter as much as weekly calories but uh, yeah let me know uh, what you guys thought of this video if this helps you or um, if you guys got any questions or concerns please leave a comment below like my video to help me support Oh, let me support to help me build this channel up and uh, talk to you guys soon. Thank you.